Hey everyone, it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. Sorry if it's a little echoey. I'm in my front living room right now and it has really tall ceilings so it's probably gonna echo. But today we're doing another house project. I'm gonna be painting my other stair rail, mostly the banister. And I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do that today. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And if you're the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, please send me an email at charmainjoyelle at gmail.com. But let's get started. All right, so as you can see, this is the stair rail that we will be working on. We've already done the one that's up here in the back, like shortly after we moved in. We just still haven't done the second one. You're probably like, what the heck, right now they like, basically look the same. So when we moved in, it was this kind of like dark espresso color and I wasn't like a huge, huge fan of it. So we actually had some painters come in and they're the ones that actually did all the walls and everything in here. And we actually had them paint the stairs all white so that banister up here in the back used to actually be all white same with this but and at first i liked it at first we really liked it but on the rail railing itself you get so many like smudges just up and down the railing that it was just driving me nuts just really dirty especially since it was white so Tyler and I decided to go with a dark color. And since we both like black a lot, <laughs> this is like such an emo house. It's like black and white and gray everywhere. We took a chance and painted this, this like onyx black, which is actually the same color that I used to repaint and redo our dinner table back here. Tyler and I took a chance on the black and we loved it. So now it's just repeating that process on the other stair banister that is currently that dark like espresso color. I think I forgot to mention the other reason we wanted to paint it is the white actually all completely peeled off. You can actually kind of see where there's leftover white paint on the underside where Tyler actually tried to peel most of it off and this is what we're kind of left with is the old paint and you know some chips and stuff that we're showing on that. But we're gonna make this process much simpler than we did with the first stair, stair banister. The first one, we actually used a paint stripping gel on it. It's supposed to be like low fume. We still wore masks and gloves and everything, but it, it was just so strong. It gave us such a bad headache. It was awful. It was really messy. And we had to use it probably about twice to get all that paint off. But we figured since we are putting another dark color on top of it that we don't necessarily have to strip the paint down to the wood like we did last time. So this is also another little experiment. We're just gonna be sanding it, painting it, and calling it a day since we're putting a dark color on top of a dark color. So let's put the tarp down and get started. So first things first, let's put the tarp down and then we can worry about sanding after that. So I got this three foot by 50 foot plastic sheeting. And it's the same thing we use for the big stairs. Anything that comes off during sanding or to block during painting doesn't get on anything else. We just got the stand for this TV and just put it down here. So obviously we don't want to get that covered in anything. So we're just going to tape down all around the base, cover the walls, cover the carpet, cover any furniture. So we're just going to cut this tarp because it's like really big and we're not going to need like 50 feet. So I'm just gonna kind of cut to like the length of the banister and tape from there. So yeah, the other masking tape was just not holding it, so I'm just gonna use duct tape. They probably don't recommend they use duct tape, but I'm gonna use duct tape. So now that the tarp and everything has been placed out and everything's covered, I can go ahead and start sanding. I'm gonna start with a 60 
grit sanding block. That way we can kind of rough up the current paint surface to allow the new coat of paint to stick on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the sanding and then we'll do a, a big wipe down from there. Now that it's all been sanded, I'm just gonna take this wet rag and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off as much of this dust as I possibly can. So I had actually bought that 180 sanding block, but it's essentially the same as the 60, it's just a, a higher grit. So to finish it off, so you either use a 60 or an 80 to buff what you need, and then you use between 100 and 120 to finish the wood and get it ready to paint. I didn't actually buy a 120 block, but I do have an electric sander. What I did is I just took one of the little pads that you stick on there, that's the 120 grit, and that's what I'm gonna use to smooth down the wood, and then we'll get ready to paint. Okay, so now that we're done sanding with the 60 grit, the 120 grit, and wiping off all the dust, now what I have to do is A, tape it off, then B, paint. This masking tape was not working very well. It's supposed to be edge lock, I guess like a painting tape, but it wasn't sticking very well when I tried to use it for the tarp, which may have been why it wasn't working. But I'm gonna try and use this to tape everything off, and then we'll kind of go from there. God. I am wore out, my hands hurt from sanding, but it's gonna be so worth it. We've been trying to get this done forever, so let's tape. This is working a lot better now that it's not being used to like hold something up. It's sticking way better, so I was just using it for the wrong thing. Duct tape still came in for the win though. Now that I have everything kind of taped off, luckily I didn't have to do too much taping because again, we're only doing what's already kind of brown and stuff. But the wood is dry now from being wiped down. I've got my paint stirred up. I don't think I need that little paint pan because we're not really like doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna dip the paintbrush in and start painting and kind of just go from there. paint already has primer in it, and it's also supposed to be an eggshell finish, so it shouldn't show any streaks. We will kind of go from there and see what happens.
So next I need to fill these holes that are in these poles right here. We had actually tried to put in a baby gate in order to keep the dogs from going up the stairs, but it just didn't work. So we ended up with these holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it using this dry dex, dry time indicator spackling. I've seen people use it on baseboards. I've used it on any of the wood or any of the holes that were in the wood on the island that I have previously filmed. It's supposed to be a much more like pinky purple color, but I have had this for a while. So it looks like it probably should be tossed after this, but I am still gonna try and use it. Just press some into the holes, smooth it out, and then we're just gonna let that dry until it's fully white, and then we'll sand the poles and paint. All right, so we are on day two. I took yesterday off for Father's Day, but now we're on to day two of working on the staircase. We have a couple things to fix, though, before we continue with painting. Here's an example of that peeling that I was telling you about, how the white paint was also just kind of like peeling off. Well, here's an example of that. So today I'm going to be focusing on sanding, you know, the big poles here. So this one that's on the front, and then we have this one that's kind of like in the middle here. So I got to sand those down for the peeling paint, and then we'll be able to use the black paint on top of that. All right, you guys, so we finally finished the staircase. All I had to do was, of course, allow that polyurethane top coat to dry. I just let it dry for 24 hours, and then I went ahead and peeled off all the tape, went back in with some white paint to clean up any, any marks that I had, and we're done. And this is the final result. I'm super happy with it. I'm just happy that both the stair railings finally match. It's no longer like a sore spot in the front room anymore. Plus it was a pretty easy project. I can still see the like the wood grain print through the paint so I didn't have to strip all the old paint off so sanding it was completely perfect. I love the black with the white and now that this one's done I feel like it really ties in <laughs> the black furniture in the front room. This house is such an emo house. I, I really should add more color but I hope you guys are also adjusting well enough to new content on my channel and kind of where I'm trying to get this to go. But I hope that you enjoyed this week's video, this week's project. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. As always, keep blooming and I'll see you guys in my next video.